All right, so let's look at how to install Composer into uh, into Zamp on uh, Windows 7, and uh, then I'll also show you how to uh, get started with uh, Laravel or uh, and also uh, Yee 2 so whichever uh, framework you want to use. Um, I already have right here um, in my Zamp Composer folder a fresh install um, of Zamp. So right from Zamp here, um, all I did I went to uh, more downloads here and uh, went to ZAMP Windows, went to 183, and scroll down and actually went to the portable version. Um, in my case I went to the to uh, the 7-zip version because uh, no, you'll notice it's the smallest size and I have 7-zip installed. So I already downloaded that, um, I extracted it, and I put it in this directory called uh, ZAMP Composer. Um, so all I'm going to do first of all is uh, run the uh, typical setup ZAMP And that runs and uh, does its thing. Okay, now we can run ZAMP control and uh, and get work. I uh, get to work on some of these things. So I'm going to use English. Now a uh, couple of things. Um, the first thing is the control panel actually is hiding some uh, information here. So I'm just going to make this bigger, and now we'll be able to see all of the various options. Uh, the other thing I need to do is uh, is I actually need to set a configuration option for, for PHP. Okay, so I'm going to come over here under Apache and click Config, and then I'm going to go down to Browse PHP. So that's going to open up the folder um, under ZAMP Compol Composer and notice uh, PHP. And then I'm just going to scroll down here to the PHP INI file right there. Okay, so I'm going to right-click this. I need to edit it. I'm going to edit it in uh, Notepad++. So once we open up that, um, all I'm going to do, I'm going to do a search. And I'm going to search for SSL. Okay, so when I do that search, uh, the first thing that comes up, you'll notice, is right here, um, this particular extension, and I need to turn that on. Um, and this is simply so that we can uh, we can actually get the uh, the download for uh, for Composer to run. Okay, so when I do that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and click Save, and I'm done with that. Okay, so I close that. Um, now we should be good. The next thing I want to do is uh, is get a um, a shell. <clears throat> and in particular, I want a shell that already has PHP and all of those other things in the past. So that's why I'm going to use this option right here. Okay, remember, if you're not seeing it, you probably need to uh, make sure to uh, to expand out your control panel. Also, make sure you have the uh, latest version of XAMPP. All right, so I click Shell. Um, the first time we run it, it says, uh, yeah, it doesn't find the, uh, the script to run it. That's okay. Just click Yes. Um, and here we are. We have our, uh, we have our shell. Okay, now... Um, in terms of uh, in terms of getting Zamp, um, sorry, getting Composer itself, um, it's actually pretty easy. There are there are a couple of a uh, couple of um, um, things here, and I'll have those in the notes um, for you as well. But mainly, here's the command that uh, that we're going to want to use. Okay, so I'm just going to grab all of this with my mouse, and I'm going to do a right click to copy. And then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to right-click and do paste. Okay, so that's going to say, um, go ahead and uh, and download um, Composer. Um, however, forgot one thing. Okay, even before I do that, sorry. What I actually want to do is change to the PHP directory. Okay, now that I'm in the PHP directory, um, I can come over and I can run that command. So I'm going to run this command um, and it'll take a second and it will go ahead and download uh, the appropriate composer file for us. Okay. So there it is. So we have uh, we have the composer far file. All right. The other thing we're going to do is uh, just to make it a little bit easier to uh, to make use of composer. We're going to create a batch file. Okay. So uh, down here, I'm actually going to switch over to this different set of directions um, to uh, to grab that um, because he has it formatted a little bit nicer. So all I'm going to do is um, here's my PHP folder once again under uh, Zamp Composer. And I need to create a new file here, so I'm just going to do right-click, New, and I'll say Text Document for right now. And now I'm going to name it Composer, and change the extension to .bat. Okay, yes, we do want to change that. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and edit that with, you guessed it, Notepad++. 
All right, so I'm going to come over here, and I'm just going to grab uh, those comments, uh, those commands right there, and we will paste that into Notepad++ um, and save that. Okay, so just so that we can see that uh, that, that is in fact working, um, now that uh, now that we've done that, I should be able to just write Composer here, and uh, yes, this is exactly what we want to see. Okay, so if you've gotten this far, um, you're you're really really close. Now um, it's really just a matter of deciding which framework uh, which framework you want to use. Um, I'm going to start with Laravel, um, not for any particular reason. I'm just going to start there. Okay, so I'm going to uh, cd um, and use dot dot. So go to the parent directory. So now we're back in uh, Zamp Composer, and recall that uh, you need to put all of your web apps in the htdocs folder. So I'm going to go to htdocs. And there we are. Okay. So now, from here, um, it's simply a matter of running the appropriate uh, composer command to, uh, to generate uh, or to create uh, your new app. Um, certainly, I'm sure I could go to, uh, to Laravel, and I have a feeling uh, their, their quick start's probably also going to give us the information for this. Uh, let's just take a quick look. Right, uh, yeah, here we are, via composer, right? So they actually give us, here's the command right here. I'm just going to, again, copy that, come over to here and paste that in, right? So we're using the composer command. Notice I'm still, I'm in the htdocs folder. Uh, we're using the create project operation, um, Laravel, Laravel. And the only thing we want to change simply is the your project name. So as, a, as it suggests, we're going to put uh, the name of our project there. So I'm just going to call it uh, sample Laravel. Right, so I do that, um, I'm going to hit enter, and it's going to take a couple of seconds, uh, kind of thinks about stuff, etc. Um, and then all of a sudden you'll see it, uh, you'll see it do various things. Um, Composer basically is a, is a sort of package manager for, for uh, PHP. So what it's going to do is it's going to make sure to download, um, it will, it will, um, it's actually going to do, sorry, a couple of things. Um, it's going to create a new Laravel project, that's the Laravel Laravel part, and it will also download whatever packages um, are required by Laravel. Um, so you can see here it downloaded Laravel, um, says loading from cache. Uh, here it's downloading um, some various other things, right, installing the dependencies. Again, take a few, uh, take a minute or so. Right, there it goes, it's getting uh, the various dependencies. You'll notice a number of mine say loading from cache because I've done this before. Uh, some other things it actually does need to uh, go ahead and download. Okay, so um, now I, um, if I start up uh, Apache, um, and I'll, uh, yes, that's fine. And we start up MySQL. Um, yes, again. Okay. Um, now I should actually be able to uh, to check out my uh, my Laravel project. Okay, so that's going to be in localhost, and uh, as we said, we called it sample Laravel. Um, so here's the basic directory. Here's the uh, directory structure that it creates. And now if I click on public, that should show me the uh, the actual app itself. So here it is. This is exactly what you should see. Okay, so now essentially you have Laravel installed, you have all of its dependencies, um, and you have a basic Laravel project. Okay, so basically good to go. Um, if you're uh, if you're working with Y2, it's just as simple. Okay, so again, notice I'm still in htdocs. 
okay, to create uh, my Yi2 application. Um, I'm just going to come over here. Here's the uh, here's the GitHub documentation for um, for Yi2, and in particular, um, they have these apps templates. And we're going to use the basic one. Um, so again, scrolling down, uh, we find the composer command. So here they're actually running PHP directly on the far. So we can actually simplify this a bit. Um, so I'm just going to start grabbing right from here. Um, again, do a copy. And we paste that in. Okay. Um, basic here, it, uh, that, that last basic that I just deleted, that's the name of, the, uh, of, your, of your application and the folder it will create. So just as we created sample Laravel, here I'll have sample E2. Um, once we do that, I'm just going to go back over here, delete the uh, PHAR, and run this. And if you were paying attention, um, you might have seen Swift Mailer actually appear in um, when we were when we were doing the install for uh, for Laravel. Um, and again, part of the reason that uh, that we see that reinstalled um, has to do with all of these components. In fact, are being installed uh, directly in um, in this particular directory in the uh, in the sample E2 directory. Um, so that's why that's why we see um, that uh, that installation again. Okay, and there it is. Right, so again, just going to come back over here. I'm going to go to my XAMPP Composer, and just so you can see, right here's htdocs. There's sample e2, sample Laravel. Those were the two thing, two directories that were created when we ran the composer commands. Um, for instance, here in e2, uh, there we have uh, all of the uh, ye stuff. And again, I can verify that ye is running. So now I'm just going to come up to uh, this part here. Um, so I believe we want a uh, ye2, and uh, this time we actually want to go into web, and uh, and this is the basic startup page for uh, for ye2. Okay, so again, we have uh, we have now ye2 a, a bare bones uh, ye2 application uh, ready and waiting for us to uh, to modify it.